Hey, I'm Noah, and today I'm reacting to True Detective Season 1, Episode 5. Last episode took a crazy turn. It's really wild how far Rust is willing to go for this case. And that end sequence last episode was mayhem. But now that we have Ginger, we should be able to get to Ledoux and this long-awaited face-off. And overall, I'm just really excited to see how this story continues. And if you enjoy my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Patreon for early, edited, and full-length reactions. But that's enough talking, let's hop into the episode. What info can this guy give us? My have two face. Pool game the other night. Called the wrong dude on cheating. <laughs> so we're still undercover. I ain't got no use for it. All your money. I can see your soul at the edges of your eyes. <laughs> it's corrosive. Like acid. You got a demon, little man. Wow, this guy's good. I see you again. And I'm putting you down. <laughs> this did not go well. Do we have a plan B? Man, sweaty. That's Reggie Ledoux's cook partner, DeWall. Bird dog and Marty. Got it. Okay, so we're following the partner. Hopefully he brings us to the location. How we doing back there, Ginger? Oh my god. Not treating him well. Not that he deserves it. How'd you get on to Ledoux? One of my old CIs tipped me off to the location of his cookhouse. Keeping up his lies. Why are you so hot to see the new discovery file, man? Why are y'all so hot to not give it to me? That is very interesting. You take me through it, and I'll let you see what we got. Still have no idea what these new cops want. I don't know how it's not this Ledoux guy. We're gonna have to call this in, Rush. Nah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Troops will come, flood these woods, they could scatter. This is all undercover. Now, Russ' dad taught him uh, bow hunting. Track game till you got within maybe 30 yards of it. True hunter. Oh god, tripwire. Good thing he has that eye. Sidestepping various anti-intruder devices they installed. It's so psychotic to do. So many traps. I'd be so scared to step on something. This is it. It's really good about to go down right now. How you wanna do it? You go back, call it in. I'll wait here. Oh my god. You got a whole position? Yeah. This is like some military stuff. Do it now, Marty. That's the guy we met with? You ain't doing this without me. Marty's not backing down. Respect. We were just about to turn back. Hand it off. But that ain't what happened. Yeah, that would have been the smart thing to do. Oh, as soon as we started to back off, man, BAM! <laughs> Bullets cut through right near Russ's head. We dove opposite ways into the high grove. Is this a lie? I mean, it was on. <laughs> they have their own story made up. Bark flying off the trees. I mean, we were in a fucking shit storm. In reality, they went up first. How is this going to end? Are they going to kill the dude? There's their traps. All signs lead to Ledoux, but it doesn't make sense. Place is empty so far. Oh god, that's him. State police! Put your hands on your head! Intertwine your fingers. This guy seems like a nut job. Is this the dude? I don't even know. Down on your knees. Oh. Gotta be careful for that other dude. Wait, that scarring seemed like a symbol. It's chaos. How can they not poke holes in this story? Can't they see like shell casings and all that? Freeze, motherfucker. <laughs> Hands up, stay police. You recognize him? Uh, is there people in there? I know what happens next. I saw you in my dream. He sees you. This guy is a nut job. Uh. God, what is it? There's the flashing lights. I'm as a flat circle. I said, Nietzsche, shut the fuck up. Put it down! <laughs> 
put your hands on your head. That guy's face looks distraught. No way! What? Why would you do that? Ah, I know you probably saw some messed up stuff, but we, that's what prison's for, man. Now we're just gonna take this guy out. Whoa! Jesus! He ran into one of his mines. How did they cover this up? Well, he sneaks out behind the dude, and just as the dude turns, bam! I guess they're not hiding that they killed him, but. And his homemade cracker eye security system took care of the rest. Jesus, this was a brutal scene. Get the cuffs off him before his blood settles. We gotta make this look right. Is this it? Rust is right on it. He said something so messed up. He went to insta kill him. Fuck. Marty. It's not smart. No oh god, they've chained up children. I mean, that'll do it. That's about the worst thing you could have saw. What do we do, Russ? Oh, fuck him. Good to see you commit to something. <laughs> Go see to the kids and don't bring them out until I say so. Dang, look at that goon. Oh. Russ too smart. He thought of that story instantly. I mean, we got very lucky. We just as easily could have been chewed to pieces by that AK. Rust is too good. I walked away from the experience with a, a greater respect for the sanctity of human life. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that. There were the twig sculptures. Where do these kids come from, man? Boy, been missing since January. He'd been dead less than a day. So that boy's dead? And someone once told me time is a flat circle. <laughs> the guy that blew up said that. Right, now they do say that. Thanks for not doubting. Never did. So they truly believe they solved this thing <laughs> via murder, but uh, I guess we know that's not the case. Things were pretty good for a while, I guess. Man, this is weird. Seems like we solved the case. <laughs> now we get to see the fall of Rust and Marty, and then whatever's happened in the modern time. You used to be a good man. Cut the booze five weeks now. I'm in a program. Promise keepers. He's trying his best. You have a long road to climb. Yes, I do. You get one more chance. A few years. Good ones. It only lasted a few more years. You want a confession? See if State Detective Cole's available. He's a master. Everybody wants confession. Everybody wants some cathartic narrative for the guilty, especially. Not that everybody's guilty. Just breaks everyone down. This feeling like life has slipped through your fingers, like the future's behind you, like like it's always been behind you. I'm sure everyone feels that way. I cleaned up, but maybe I didn't change. Not the way I needed to. So his family life is not going well. True failure was inattention. Something about to be bad about to happen to these kids. Oh, oh, it's just a. Time warp sequence. It's Starlight from the boys. What's the uh, message? There is no message, it's just me. I mean, I look at Macy. She was in The Walking Dead. And I'm not trying to tell you what to wear or anything, I'm just trying to understand Well, it. who told you you had to understand? <laughs> Being a father. I hear you made cheerleader. Yeah. I didn't know they had a great cheerleaders. Same as there's football players. <laughs> Pretty normal family dynamic here. Russ seems bored. Tell it to your mother. What did she do? A <clears throat> deputy found her parked in a car with two boys. Uh oh. Yeah, in states of undress. <laughs> boys are 19 and 20. They haven't decided whether to press statch rape charges. What? She is not going down a great path. What are you thinking? She's rebelling. The captain of the varsity slut team. Marty! <laughs> Fuck you! No! Really? Maybe that's why she does the things she does? You're not a great father? Open the door, Audrey! This is not great. We see... 
our space time would look flattened. Is this where he got the idea for Interstellar? <laughs> now to us, it's a sphere, but to them, it's a circle. What is this guy saying? Mr. Coe, what happened in 2002? I would like to know that. You're creating a maze for yourself that you ain't never gonna get out of. They got you. <laughs> you just gotta change your play. You got bleeding impairment. He's giving him advice. I mean, I'm not even saying that I remember anything. I, I shit hammered. There we go. That's your play. There we go. This is how we get people to admit. But insanity defends. That's your ticket. That would not work, though. Blew that fucker away, didn't you? <laughs> really broken him down. You see what you just did? You just copped to a double murder. Oh, God. <laughs> we really rub it in on him? Get him to an emotional state. I know who you are. I know about that woman y'all found out in the woods way back. Oh, boy. But antlers? Hmm. This is intriguing. What you know? Y'all never caught the man that did that. He's been out there. This guy might be on to something. There's big people who know about him. Big people. What does big people mean? He's dead, boy. I'll tell you about the Yellow King. Yeah, Ledoux was just one of the soldiers. The Yellow King is a real deal. Give me a name. Give me a fucking name, huh? Oh, wow. Russ is real serious now. Okay! Oh, oh my god. That really triggered Russ. Go down, man. Go down. I'll take a deep breath, alright? Why does he have such a emotional connection to that case? Go, well, he's up, baby. Calm down. I'll be back. Come on, I got it. <laughs> that was strange. Reggie Ledoux deserved to die, Marty. That was justice. But I'm not ruling out other agencies. This is bigger. Francis and Charlie Lang both say the Yellow King. Dora Lang said the Yellow King. He's the cult leader. Made a bunch of people do stuff. Ever wonder why that task mm -hmm. force was so hot to take the case? Are you telling me you think the task force was in on it? Hmm. Okay. This might be real interesting if something like that's the case. He's dead. How the fuck did this happen? You know what he was looking at with the double murders? I guess he thought about it and made a choice. Now it makes it seem like the police are in on it. Covering it up. Took a phone call at 7.15. He's a lawyer. Hmm. You got audio on this. Found. No, just the vid. What were the police saying, though? Three hours and nothing. Till you see the blood. This is strange. He just wanted to get a deal done. Somebody might have told him on that phone call. I want to see your incoming call logs now. This conspiracy might have just got a lot bigger. Terrence, get prints on this. Yes, sir. The call was made from out here. Connects to the suicide. How? Well, somebody might have told him something. Gave him no choice. Right in his family. Yeah, great. Seems like Marty doesn't want to go back in on this. Toto died a couple years back, right after Cole showed back up in the state. Fuck this. <laughs> you tell me right now why you're all over Cole, or I walk. That is very much what I want to know right now. What do they have on Cole? Back to the original location. What could we possibly learn? He does have a strange obsession with this case. If you two talked to Russ, you weren't getting a read on him. He was getting a read on you. <laughs> what do they think he's done? Like, do you think he did these killings? Or did Russ start to get onto the police department, realizing maybe they were onto something? Now they're trying to shut him down. This is all you got. Talk, I already know all this. <laughs> Tell us what you've really been up to. I already told you how I spend my time. Except you've been bullshitting us all afternoon. Excuse us for one minute, please. Oh, yeah. They're getting tired of it. Has Russ been doing some vigilante work or something? Maybe he's still trying to solve this case. Back to the school. Like Charles is a bit out of the way for you, ain't it? How'd you keep her out of the papers? He's been keeping up with this stuff. A man fitting your description was spotted in the vicinity of our crime scene five times. He's doing his own research. Got a store shed near Church Point. He won't let us see what's inside. He is a suspicious guy, I'll give him that. You're a juicer. 
Ever black out? Ever wake up, don't remember what happened? They are trying to blame it on her. Look, y'all wanna arrest me? Go ahead. You wanna follow me? Come on. <laughs> See something? Get a warrant. This interview is over. Thanks for the beer. Beyond that, you wasted my fucking day, company man. Oh, wow. This is the change of the show. No more interview. I feel like it would be too obvious if he was the killer. And these scenes wouldn't make any sense. Why would he be searching like this? Didn't he get you every bit of evidence? Didn't he push you where he wanted to go? This is real interesting. You ever thought if he made that phone call to the prisoner? Like, I don't know. The guy was trying to blackmail him? They're making a compelling case. I'll give him that. There's a trap. Like, he can't be the killer, though. Or the Yellow King. Why would he be searching around like this? Whatever you can tell us about Blaine Killer up to when you two had your altercation. Feels like one of the last things we need to learn about, man. It was a bunch of old traps. Hmm. Very interesting. Nasty episode. Well, that was a pretty wild episode. That shootout with Ledoux definitely didn't go down the way I thought it would. That was pretty wild of Marty to shoot him like that. I mean, I get it, but it might have been helpful to question him first. And Russ is pretty genius to figure out a way to cover that up so easily. But that whole thing was only like a third of this episode. After that, we got to see a little bit of an insight into everyone's lives. Marty's back with his wife, but the whole family dynamic's not going great. But overall, it's pretty just normal family stuff. But of course the most intriguing thing about this episode is the whole Russ situation. Those detectives really seem to think he has something to do with this. And Russ does have a weird obsession with this case. I just don't see how it makes sense for him to be the killer. One thing I could think of would be maybe he actually knows who the killer is, the Yellow King. And that's why he wants to get to him so bad. But I truly don't believe he is the Yellow King. But overall I'm so intrigued to see where this goes from here. Seems like we're going to take a pretty big tonal shift. No more interview room shots now. So I wonder if we're going to get more footage of the modern times. And if you enjoyed my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.